If you're one of the many companies running a Google ad campaign and not getting results, it's probably due to some common keyword mistakes. But fret not, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you these common keywords mistakes that local businesses make while setting up their Google ads, and most importantly, how to fix them. Stick around to the end, because the last one is something we see all the time. It's an easy fix, but could be costing your business thousands. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from OneBase Media, and I'm here to help you get more local customers for your service business. So if you don't want to miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. The first keyword mistake we often see is not selecting the right match type. We often see businesses who are inexperienced with Google Ads using loads of broad match keywords. This makes the ad shop for very irrelevant searches and they end up burning through their budget without generating any leads. What you want to do instead is use exact match and phrase match keywords in your campaigns. These types of keywords ensure that your ads are triggered for searches closely aligned with your services. By making this switch, you increase your chances of generating relevant leads. But we don't want to ignore broad match keywords altogether. Instead, limit yourself to only one or two broad match keywords for every ad group. By doing this, your exact and phrase match keywords will attract more targeted traffic. And your broad match keywords will uncover new relevant keywords that you can build separate groups for from the data. So adopt a strategy of using exact match and phrase match with one or two broad match keywords in every ad group and you'll see better results coming in. Also, keep in mind that Google has recently changed how exact match keywords work. Previously, if you were targeting boiler maintenance, for instance, then your ad would only be triggered if someone searched for this exact phrase. But after the recent change, now your ad might trigger if someone searches for boiler servicing because Google sees servicing as a synonym of maintenance. It's highly possible that in some cases your ads are triggered for searches that don't match what you offer. To limit this, we use the strategy of weighting our campaign towards more exact match and phrase match keywords. The second most common mistake is your keywords being too short and too broad. Again, we often see this with businesses that are new to Google Ads. For instance, roofing companies just targeting the keyword roof. If you do this, your ads will pop up for roof tiles, roof felt, rubber roof, and roof materials. Although these are all related to roofing, they will not get you any new business because these people are searching for the materials and not your service. Obviously, that's a roofing example, but this applies to almost all businesses. So narrow down your keywords by making them more descriptive to what you actually offer. For example, if you offer flat roof repairs, then your keywords should be flat roof repairs. That way your ads will be found by someone who's actually looking for your service and you'll get more relevant leads for less money. The third mistake you want to avoid is not using high buyer intent keywords. High buyer intent keywords are specific terms that potential customers use when they are close to making a purchase. These keywords indicate a strong intention to buy your product or service. So for instance, if you're a plumber in London, low buyer intent keywords would include things like average cost of a plumber and how to unblock a sink. These won't trigger many leads and will waste your budget because they are informational based keywords. Instead, you wanna use keywords like local plumbers, plumbers near me, or emergency plumbers in London. This is because people who are searching for terms like this are more likely to hire you as they are actively looking for a service that you offer. By focusing on high buyer intent keywords, your ads are targeted for highly relevant searches, leading to higher conversion rates and better returns on your investment. The next mistake you want to avoid is using keywords with a very low volume of searches. Use tools like Keyword Planner and SEMrush to find keywords with a good amount of search volume. We have a detailed video on how you can find keywords for your local business using Google's Keyword Planner, and I've left the link in the description for you. Sometimes you might select keywords that seem perfect for your campaign. They could have high buyer intent and perfectly align with your services. However, if these keywords have low search volume, they won't be effective, because even though the keywords meet all the criteria, if nobody's searching for them, then, well, what's the point? Again, check out our video on how to find keywords using Google's Keyword Planner. It's a complete guide to stop you falling victim of using keywords with no search volume. And last but not least, don't make the mistake of adding a whole load of keywords in just one group. Make sure you have different groups targeting different keyword sets. As you can see over here, we've got multiple ad groups with different keywords for this client. We have a different ad group for block sinks, block toilets, block toilet drains, and many more. And additionally, each ad group has different keywords related to that service. So don't just have one ad group with hundreds of keywords. Instead, create separate ad groups for each service you offer with keywords related to that service. This way, your ads will be more targeted and perform much better. These are the keyword mistakes that you want to avoid. 
Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment in the comment section. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.